Imagine this. You lose your child to a monster. For years you grieve their loss, but then one day you notice something moving when it's not supposed to. Robots, animatronics given life they shouldn't have. You are filled with hope momentarily, and then a terrible dread. You search, you uncover, and then you find them. Your child is still there. They are perpetuating the cycle, bringing others to life. You mourn again, and then hide away for decades as they work. As the cycle continues, the monster continues to consume, continuing the kill, and they continue to protect and give their gifts. And then, one day, a seemingly spontaneous fire brings them back into your arms. But you have prepared for them. You have built a suit to contain them, to trap them, to soothe them, to constantly shock them into submission for the greater good. You seal them away, build a maze of sounds and smells, and dump them in with their own murderer. Watch them wander through your cameras, waiting for them to burn, because you love them. From the get-go, the concept of what Lefty is has always been nightmarish. A Freddy-shaped prison cell built to contain the protector of the lost souls, the puppet. Luring it in, forcibly trapping this aware creature into its restraints and subduing it with repeated and constant controlled shocks. In the Freddy's universe, a world where parents are almost always callous, uncaring, negligent, or absent, Lefty is the perfect representation of a father's love. Lefty's blueprints explain exactly how it functions. Lefty itself is an anagram of lure, encapsulate, fuse, transport, and extract. Lure the puppet in, capture it, fuse to it, carry it back to where it is needed, and then extract. The extract part is the oddity because it's unclear if it means extract the soul, which Lefty is not built to do. Maybe it means the puppet was supposed to be yanked back out of Lefty, but it's unclear if that happened. In fact, Lefty's fate is left strangely ambiguous. We'll get into that later. Atop its head is a hat that serves as his navigational sensors. In Lefty's dead black eye is a false sensory output. Basically, it mimics the frequency and code of a security bracelet, such as the ones seen in the security puppet minigames. Using the puppet's programming to follow and protect children wearing the bracelet, Lefty lures it in and traps it. This also confirms that the puppet's receiver frequency is FZ544, or FAZ544. So, the Dream Wand Soother is where things get scary. This microphone is connected with a lullaby index, which leads one to believe that it will basically work as a music box to keep the puppet at bay. Except, upon suit seal, provide steady voltage throughout. Behavior upon suit seal is not guaranteed. Of course it isn't, because we've seen exactly what happens to haunted animatronics when they receive repeated, unneeded, controlled shocks. Something William was willing to do to his own daughter, if that's any indication to the morality of it. And this is especially unneeded. Why give a soother of a music box to keep the puppet asleep if you're randomly going to shock it when you want to? Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Or letting them get put on stage letting this day's dancing bear wobble in front of a party of kids. It's not like it was an accident either. He put it up for sale for five dollars when he could have just dumped it into the maze without it needing a purchase. An unnecessary extra step. No, looking at these blueprints you see something much less akin to a father's desperate act of love and instead a father's punishment and frustration. Like baby repeatedly shocked into submission, the puppet is trapped inside the belly of a bear trap, put to sleep and shocked, and put to sleep and shocked, in a constant state of shifting from one state to the other, then let dance on stage, all while father watches from his cameras. He knows what he's doing is right because to him, it ends with everything else going with him. Regardless of how they go, he and his child are going together, and then they all burn. But they don't, do they? Narratively wise, they burn, but there is one animatronic missing from the raging inferno. Lefty. 
Father Dira swears they'll burn together, but where is Lefty? With him? There's no implication that it is. So maybe it escaped the fire. That would seem like a reach, but a future appearance of Lefty, of a character who by all means shouldn't exist past this point, suggests that something went wrong in the plan. Or it would've, if Lefty hadn't have gotten the big axe. Hilariously enough, this isn't the only tragedy of Lefty, who after this moment proceeded to all but get dumped aside by the franchise who bore him. The puppet too got trapped in this bare casket and kinda stuck there for years, with the most recent appearance of him just being the lucky chance of getting a new plushie. Which, of course, he did. Because the puppet is an adorable and lovable creature, and Lefty's... Lefty's always looking like a drunken uncle at a backyard barbecue. Except instead of a red cup, he's carrying around a microphone. But I'm getting ahead of myself. The puppet and Lefty appear both an Ultimate Custom Knight, and their mechanics are quite similar. That is, both are soothed by the music box. While the puppet needs to stay wound or it will come and get you, Lefty gets irritated by sound and temperature, and needs the global music box to calm it down. Lefty gets a voice, and its lines are disturbing. Shh. I'm so glad that I found you. Let me make room for you. One or two of the lines could be from the puppet's perspective, but the others seem to suggest that Lefty is a separate entity to the puppet. I've been looking for you. seem to come more from Lefty itself while comments like Come spend eternity inside with me could be from the puppet. One line, it'll all be over soon, it will all be over soon, is directly taken from Baby. I think this is inconsequential. Glamrock Freddy too took a line from Baby. Be still. Be still. Be still. Now, I think the implication is that the puppet is now possessing the bear trap. Excellent job, Henry. But it could also be that all of these lines are spoken from Lefty themselves. If that was the case, as unlikely as this is, as it is, this makes Lefty so much more unsettling. Imagine the puppet escaping the FNAF 3 fire, running outside, and then this thing thumps up, grabs it, shushes it, saying it'll all be over soon, and shoving him inside. Ugh. So, that was the end of the lefty, right? Well, no, we have one last tale of tragedy to tell. After being missing from Help Wanted, the books, and eventually Security Breach, Lefty was due to return in a terrifying new way. But alas, fate had something else in store. Act 3, how a fully finished lefty somehow got cut from FNAF Special Delivery. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating here. Lefty has full animations, workshop, attack, defeat, jump scare, has a complete lure, he even has a completed piece of promotional art with BB featured in the background, and apparently had it confirmed that his lines had been recorded, but alas, he never made it into the game before updating halted. And this is especially bizarre since Lefty, like Funtime Freddy, was teased frequently in the background, its face appearing on wrapping paper and on easy-to-miss easter eggs. Though while Funtime Freddy eventually made it in, Lefty unfortunately did not. Its promotional art shows some sort of train or subway, looking almost like something coming out of Silent Hill. And the balloon boy in the background doesn't seem to be wearing a skin, so if he would have had his own event, or his release was just that, a release is unclear. Now, it's possible that the game's just been on hiatus for two years, with the last official post being for the last photo booth challenge in January 2022, and that someday it'll be resurrected. As someone who's seen a lot of mobile games die, I kinda doubt this will happen unless someone really wants to bring it back. Either way, it is bizarre to have a fully complete character and not just release them before going silent for so long. Our last big appearance of Lefty was in a statue provided by Funko. This statue, featuring the puppet and Lefty, is one last disturbing reminder of what Lefty is. Lefty stands rigid with its back bowed and its mouth gaped, a dead look in its lone seeing eye. Its arms hang at its sides, as out from inside slithers the limbs of the puppet. With the puppet unable to emote, we cannot tell if it's merely peeking out of its new home or trying desperately to escape. 
but there are some clues. Its fingers, bent into claws, clutching and pulling at Lefty's head. The lights in its eyes. How Lefty is bowed as though it struggles to stay standing as its prisoner manipulates its body. Notably, it is standing alongside the open prize box the puppet typically resides in. Though this may be for show, perhaps this is also the scene of the crime, of where Lefty grabbed up the puppet and confined him inside. Or a comparison, this is the puppet's box now, though this one will not open. And though that may be the case, it is clear that its intention was not followed through. If Lefty was made to contain the puppet, it failed, with the puppet simply leaking through the cracks. In a more meta sense, Lefty was practically abandoned beyond its initial game, save Ultimate Custom Night, with its only return appearance, where it replaced the puppet getting into FNAF AR, was deemed unimportant enough that it never made it into implementation, left behind in the silent hell it was first created to be. Lefty is a nightmare when you look at what it truly is, what it was created to be, a prison to trap one of the only creatures trying to save the victims of Afton only to itself become a victim once more, at the mercy of a cold, uncaring machine with an ugly mug. Will we see Lefty again? Maybe. Maybe FNAF AR will reappear again and Lefty will be released. Maybe Lefty will get more merch or be teased in a book. But me, I don't hate Lefty. I find what he is to be ad admirably gruesome, soured by the loss of an interesting character for a lesser bear. But the longer time passes, the more I think... And the more I think, the more I see the truly nightmarish scenario Lefty is. How horrible he really is, how emotionally impactful it is as a story element when the games draw attention to it. But a bitter side of me resents Lefty's creation for another reason. That he is the reason we didn't have a proper puppet in FNAF AR, or perhaps a puppet in Security Breach's prize counter, or even in Pizzeria Simulator. Even if that's not the case, Something about the dazed look in his eyes of this walking nightmare fuel, wasted on the suffering brewing inside him, makes me want to blame him. I hope we see the puppet again, and I hope someday we see Lefty resting in pieces. Thanks for watching.